Hello everyone. Welcome to Lifey Light. 6 things that your gynecologist will not tell you, but would very much like to. When it comes to going to a gynecologist, many women feel uncomfortable, uncomfortable, awkward. A variety of cockroaches are starting to emerge. Yes, there is not much pleasant in the gynecological armchair, but in fact, we women, ourselves in many ways winding. We figured out what gynecologists think about the most common female fears and misconceptions. 1. We are everywhere, you have done to the appellation there or not. Surely you have at least once like that, you suddenly remember that tomorrow you have a reception with a gynecologist, and rush to do appellation. For some reason, Many ladies are sure that the presence or absence of hair in a delicate zone is the first thing the doctor looks at. But this is a myth, as the doctors themselves say. They are professionals in their field, it is important for them to make sure that everything is in order with your women's health, and if it is not so, they are trying to find out the cause of the ailment, itching, etc., at whatever cost, etc. Whether you made the hair removal or not is the last. That worries the doctor, believe me. 2. And you do not worry about odors. Many women are really worried about the possible appearance of a smell there. However, the doctors themselves say that they practically do not pay attention to it. That is, of course, they will suspect the wrong if the smell there is very specific and indicates the signs of a disease. In other words, to smell, as well as to epilation. They come from a purely professional point of view. Therefore, you do not need to rush to take the tent sole for a day, if you have a reception soon. On the contrary, you wash away the entire flora, and the analyzes are unreliable. 3. Do not leave reception from menstruation. If you have incorrectly calculated the days of the upcoming menstruation and signed up for an appointment with a doctor, and these days suddenly occurred, it is not necessary to postpone a visit to the hospital, especially if the situation requires an early examination. These days will not affect the consultation with the doctor. Moreover, science has advanced so far that the apparatus is able to distinguish menstrual blood from cervical cells. The gynecologists themselves admitted more than once that menstruation is not a reason to postpone admission. And if you think that it will be unpleasant for a doctor to examine you, think about what it is like for him, for example, to take delivery. 4. Yes, you must inform us, if you have Tamzad. Many women are embarrassed to tell the doctor that in an intimate place they are itching. Very in vain, because thereby they themselves launch a possible disease. The matter is that some diseases in the beginning proceed rather asymptomatically and are shown only by niche. If you did not tell the gynecologist about the unpleasant sensations, and when asked if you are concerned about something, they answered negatively, then how can the doctor guess that you need to pass certain tests? Do not keep silent, it is better to tell your doctor everything that bothers you. 5. There is no single means of contraception, suitable for all women alike. Different women have different means of contraception, and only a gynecologist can pick up effective contraceptives for you. But most gynecologists believe that the best remedy is intrauterine contraception. Why? It is safe, long-term and effective. In addition, Recent studies have shown that the spiral not only reduces bleeding during menstruation, but also helps to prevent the risk of uterine cancer. 6. We want to know about your sexual life exclusively in professional interests. Do not be embarrassed when you are asked how many partners you have at the moment, what kind of sex you prefer and what kind of sexual orientation you are. This is not idle curiosity. It is not worth lying and not negotiating. Knowing more of you, the doctor will be able to draw conclusions, possibly sent for additional tests and studies. This is done solely for your benefit, and not because the gynecologist wanted to talk to you heart to heart. Thank you for watching. 
Make sure you like the video and subscribe for our new content. Click the bell sign to stay in contact with updates from us. Hope seeing you back on Lifey Life.